Yo, what's going on, children of the corn? <gasps> it is Friday, another day of life. So life's good, man. Life is good. All right, so some of you guys have been asking me for a while to react to Soldier's Fallout. <laughs> All right, so we're on uh, the Springman's Production 2021 channel. Shout out to him. We're going to be reacting to his video. Soldier Fallout Person's Unfortunate Predicament. <coughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the BBC. I am Wilbert Fair Audrey. You may also know me as the Reverend W. Audrey, the author of the Railway Series books. Today, I'll continue on documenting the events that took place on Soto on the July 4th. July 4th? Or better known as the Brendan Bay Blast. Brendan the Bay incident Blast. shook the entire world as thousands of people, several locomotives, rolling stock, and vehicles lost their lives. Me and my team have managed to find old timetable sheets in and interview the survivors who experienced and witnessed the horrors of the deadly incident in their eyes. I've asked a retired solo fireman, Sidney Sanders, to give us the journal on where he wrote down many events that had happened. We've also interviewed two coaches whom you may know them as Annie and Clarabelle. This is the event of Percy's unfortunate predicament. All right, let's begin. Oh man, I know this is gonna be nuts. Oh, that's Annie right there. Yo, what the heck is that thing, bro? Okay, we got Percy. Driver, do you think everything will be okay? Don't worry, Percy. As soon as we get to the mainland, everyone will be safe. Then there was trouble. Dude, what the heck happened? That's what I said. The oh! Is that the beast? Distract? Distract it with what? Yeah! Wait, that's Percy, right? <laughs> oh. Dude is chasing them. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the railroad. Oh, the tracks are messed up, dude. He just crashed. Hurry! Hurry! Poor Percy, man. He smashed his face on that rock. Oh my god! That was James, right? Dude, poor Percy, he has no jaw anymore. 
for his unfortunate predicament. Dude, that was very unfortunate. F in the chat for Percy, though. All right, so for our next video, we're going to be reacting to the 1411 experiment on the recording's official soda fallout clip by Tidmouth Thunderbolt. Dude, that first 1411 video 1. Engine known as Oliver has been acquired. Beaten up a bit after being derailed by Harold and Herbert. Aryan and Bert to the locals. The ironworks engines. Left on siding outside the main building. Right. Experiment 1411 2. Engine has been injected with a dosage of. The dosage engine of what? Has complained about nausea and a pain internally. We put the engine to sleep and we'll be doing some further research. Dude, it didn't tell us. It like hit the static. It's like SEP. 1411-3. Researchers have tasked Harold and Herbert to block engines from entering. Engine has started to show signs of awakening. Test on nearby flat car proved successful after knocking it on its side in about one swift movement. Engine has been given anesthetics after terminating the test. 1411-4. Circulation in the face has ceased. Engine's last face is a concerned Dude, expression. New host seems to have taken over. Tendrils have grown in length and are able to hold itself off the ground. We're really making major progress now. Fourteen eleven dash five. Face is now removable, exposing the mouth and teeth. Dude, look at all the sharp teeth. Tendrils can come out of the mouth now. That's so cool, man. Engine can now control eyes by shoving tendrils into the back of balls and using them like servos. I would want to be that turn. <laughs> Chapin's gone missing. Blood dripping from his mouth pretty much answered our question. We lured the ironworks engines in and got him ready for the test. They were horrified. One of them tried running into it and the other reversed. One trying to escape derailed and was torn in half. <laughs> Oil was dripping everywhere. And there was a fire. Engine went after the second one and compressed the front half, killing it instantly. Test was successful. Scrap will be sold later. Ooh. Fourteen eleven dash seven. Diesel ten was prepped for combat test. Dude, what this is will that? be our final combat test before mission is operational. Diesel was brought in and combat commenced. It's D10 like a held spider. A you guys see that, right? Fight, calling it multiple names: creature, beast, monster. But the engine got the upper hand. Engine ripped off the hydraulic claw on the roof and tore off a buffer. Ouch. Diesel 10 was powerless and begged for mercy, apologizing to steam engines in general. Engine took the thin end of the claw and jammed it into the middle of D10's face. We have decided no to call mercy, it the beast. Alright, so that's the beast. 1411 8. Engine number eight arrived at night and was taken care of. Beast ripped parts off and attacked it after backing it into the buffers. 1411-9. Towed brake van, the monitor of the... Uh, this'll help us be able to figure out... Dude, we can't it didn't finish what he's saying because of the static. <laughs> All right, well, that was interesting. All right, you guys, well, those were some sort of fallout videos. If you guys have any other videos you want me to watch, let me know down in the comments. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the amazing support. And I will see you on the next one. Perfect, perfect.